cervical incontinence is essentially losing stool through the rectum when you're not planning on it. There's 5 to 10% of the population of women that suffer from this. And oftentimes women, I think, are intimidated and don't want to bring it up to anybody. They don't, they don't want to speak about it. I've had patients come in that are afraid to tell their closest family members, their mom or their sister, that they're having issues. And oftentimes um, it's taken them a long time to come in to talk to a provider about it. Many times it's related to previous childbirth injuries and things like that. Many times women get to the point where they're afraid to go out in public or do certain activities like go to the gym to exercise because they're afraid they're going to soil themselves. And so when we see a patient for that, it's a pretty basic workup. Oftentimes we like to get a colonoscopy to make sure there's nothing bad going on, a colitis or anything like that, um, and do some other basic examination things. And then we start talking about dietary changes, things um, that can be done to bulk up the stool to help prevent it. Um, sometimes some basic medications can help. All the way to Interstim, which is also a device used for overactive bladder that has been very successful in treating fecal incontinence. For women out there that think, oh, this is just part of my life and I'm too embarrassed to talk about it, I'm just going to live with it. There are things that can be done to help.